The leopard lurks in the dense jungle undergrowth, watching me with silent curiosity. Tonight we're exploring some lower elevation jungle here in Sabah, Malaysian Borneo, an area famous for these beautiful yet stinky Rafflesia flowers. Their pungent stink attracts flies and beetles that serve as pollinators. After it got dark, I donned my stylish new yellow rain boots and entered the jungle via a small stream. Things got off to a good start with this beautiful spotted stream frog. Such a brilliant orange. Contrasting that, this little spotted rock skipper has some intense green hues. Check out that lightning fast kick. Pesky ant! These frogs have a rather distinct sexual dimorphism regarding size. As you can see, compared to this much larger female, the male is significantly smaller. Speaking of size, a giant stream toad. This one is likely a male, as the females can get much larger than this. Like many toads, these can secrete toxic poison if disturbed. So we'll leave it to its toad business. Leaving the stream, I scour the leaf litter, as there is an even more impressive frog species here I hope to find. And this forest clearing does not disappoint. A long-nosed horn frog. Here we have one of the other species of horn frogs from Borneo. This is actually the largest species in Borneo. Check out the size of it next to my hand. Really big. Hello, Petrakis. Nasutis, with even more exaggerated horns and an even more dramatic silly face than the species I found the night before, not to mention significantly larger. This was the primary target of the whole trip, the perfect beginning to the night. In addition to the highly developed supraorbital horns, they also have these distinct skin folds which really add to the impressive dead leaf camouflage. As largely ambush predators, this aids them in laying in wait for unsuspecting prey and to hide from predators. You can see the pointy little nose there. What a face. And what a remarkable creature. Starkly contrasting in size, these tiny sticky frogs also exhibit amazing dead leaf camouflage. Not long after was when I happened across the leopard cat. This is a Sunda leopard cat, and it's just chilling there doing cat things, giving itself a good wash. In fact, they are roughly the size of domestic cats, but have spots like a leopard. This species live in tropical evergreen forests throughout Southeast Asia, where they mostly feed on rodents, of which there are many here, as well as other small animals. It seems pretty chill with my presence, but when I said hello, meow, meow, it seemed offended and decided to move along. And of course, there have been an abundance of other fascinating jungle life. More dragons. A large Borneo forest dragon sleeps here. And these Unbelievable Godzilla stick insects. Beasts of the sci-fi fantasy realm. Covered in fearsome horns and spikes. Yet they are capable of love too. Some indigenous peoples in Borneo eat their large eggs. But beware their terrible retribution. Like another world, Alien creatures are everywhere. And pretty birds too. Sleeping safely in the branches and the vines. The jungle is full of vines. Some that even appear to move. Perhaps they are not vines at all. A blunt head slug snake. Eplopaltura boa. Look at this. So cool. 
I've been walking for hours and not seen a snake. And then right here, just as I was leaving the forest, Eptopaltura boa. I don't know how I was even able to see this. The camouflage is incredible. Even my camera autofocus thinks it's just a piece of stick or a vine. These are non-venomous, and as the name suggests, they eat slugs and snails, which is why they are so slow moving. Peekaboo! But it is incredible to watch it slowly moving through the vines like this. This is one of the snakes I'd really hoped to see here in Pouring, so what a great way to end tonight's walk. They're quite common throughout Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, and southern Thailand. It just becomes one with the vine. What a perfect end to my second night in Borneo. And I'm literally only about 10 meters from leaving the jungle. Amazing. Thanks for watching. Let's see what we find tomorrow night. Good night.